Hey y'all, we're having a blessed night. It's so good to see you. This past Sunday evening, my dad and I had the opportunity to hear the Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir sing down in Orlando, Florida. What a joy it was to worship Jesus Christ with them and to hear them sing and minister and testify and to hear Pastor Simbler preach. It truly was an honor to be there in the presence of God. And one of my favorite things about the choir, in fact, the very favorite thing, is not so much their music. It is truly wonderful and anointed. But my most favorite thing about the choir is the fact that the members of the choir and Pastor Simbler and Carol, they sing for Jesus Christ. They sing for an audience of one. They don't sing to draw attention to the Brooklyn Tabernacle or to the choir, but they sing to draw attention to the one who deserves all of the praise, and that's Jesus Christ. And I thank God for them ministering the way that they point people to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. One of the songs they sang on Sunday evening was titled, My Help, and it's one of my favorite songs they sing, and I love the message in the song. And it simply says, All of my help cometh from the Lord. And it's based on Psalm 121, one of the verses that has truly been my strength over the past many years, in particular the past nine years, because a little over nine years ago, my mom passed away. We were on vacation up in North Carolina, and she had a heart attack. It was just unexpected, very sudden. She was fine one minute and gone the next, and it was so difficult. Words can't even describe how just distraught that we were and how my heart was just broken. And as we stood outside calling family to let them know this tragic news, I looked up at the ridge. You could see a ridge outline with the moonlight shining down on it. And I could see the silhouette of these mountains in the distance. And as I looked up there, I thought of Psalm, Psalm 121. And I was thinking about this verse. And that became the thing that I held on to. It was a tangible thing that I could grab on to and know that God would give me strength, that God would help me through this horrible trial that we were enduring. And... While it didn't take all the hurt away, it didn't take all the pain away, but this scripture truly became my lifeline because I knew that the Lord would help me and help my dad get through this and eventually find a new normal because we knew things would never be the same, but we knew that God would restore a new normal and then we could live for his glory as we are now. And I thank God for that. And this verse I want to share with you is Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2. And that night I just thought these words, I thought, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. When we need help, all we have to do is look to Jesus Christ. He's sitting there at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, waiting to help us, waiting to give us peace beyond all understanding, waiting to give us patience, waiting to give us joy, waiting to give us hope for the future. Because Jesus loves us more than we could ever possibly imagine. And he wants to help us. He wants to be our closest friend. The Bible tells us that he's closer than a brother. He's closer than our own family. And it's because of his great love for us that he wants to help us and be there for us every moment of every day. And I thank God for this verse and this promise that I had that night when my mom passed away and went to be with Jesus. That I could know beyond a shadow of a doubt that if I looked to the Lord... He would be my help, that he is the maker of the heavens and the earth, that he would be my stronghold, that he would be my strength, that he would be the rock that I could lean upon when I couldn't even stand on my own two feet because I was too discouraged and too, just, too, just too upset. But I could put my trust in Jesus Christ and know that my help comes from the Lord. If you're watching this tonight thinking, well, how do I get this help? How can I get help? What do I do, just sit down and wait? Not exactly. Because if we just sit down and wait, what good would that do? Think about the last time you needed a friend or family member to help you with something. Did you just sit down on your sofa and wait for them to come? Did you sit down just thinking, oh, maybe they'll call me and ask me if I need any help? No. If you need help moving a big heavy piece of furniture or you need help fixing the plumbing in your bathroom or kitchen or if you need help mowing the grass or if you need help borrowing a car because yours is in the shop, whatever it is you need help for, you're going to call someone or text someone and say, hey, can you do me a favor? I need your help. But we're not going to sit back and relax and wait for them to contact us. They would never know we need their help unless we ask. And in the same way, Jesus Christ, he, he does know our needs already before we ask, but he wants us to come to him and share our needs to make our requests known, the Bible tells us. And in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, 
one of my very favorite verses. In verse 16 it says, Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So what do we have to do to get that help again? Let's look at that again. It says, Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence. We have to approach the Lord. We have to go to Him with our requests. We have to be confident and bold and know what our needs are. We have to tell Him our needs. We have to pray and trust God and believe that He will provide these needs. And then it says, Then we'll receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. If we need something, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is too big for God to handle. He wants to help us. He's waiting and watching and listening for our voice to make our requests known, to pray and to talk to Him. He's our Heavenly Father. He wants us to come to Him and talk to Him like children who need help from their Father. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to talk to Him and to tell Him that we need something done in our life, that we have a problem that we need His help with because we can't solve it on our own. But we've got to make our requests known. We've got to go to Him and say, Lord, I really need help. Maybe you have a wayward child that you don't know what to do about. Maybe you don't know where they even are. But pray and tell God, please bring my child home. Just protect them. Keep them safe. Maybe you're in jail because of some horrible mistake. There's some bad decision you made or some people you've hung out with. Maybe you're in the hospital dealing with some severe illness. Maybe a life-threatening illness. Perhaps the doctors have only given you days to live. But maybe in your spirit you know it's not your time to go. Tell the Lord your needs. Tell Him, Lord, spare my life. I want to live for you. I want to share your love with everybody I meet. Whatever you need, God will supply. Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. That's why He gave His life for you on Calvary, to give you redemption, to give you salvation, to give you a road to redemption that would wipe away all of your sins. Because we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, according to the Bible. But through the grace of God, He sent His only Son. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever should believe in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you believe on Jesus Christ and you accept salvation that only comes through Him and you confess your sins, then you can receive this gift of eternal life. He will help you every moment of every day. I can tell you from personal experience that Jesus helping me is the reason I'm alive. Because when I was born, my parents prayed, Jesus, help. The doctors gave up. I was born lifeless. I was born without a heartbeat. And the doctors, they said, well, we don't have time to work with the baby. We've got to work with the mom and help her survive. But my parents did not give up. They prayed, Jesus, help. It was all they could muster in their time of need, in their time of just being distraught and totally just overwhelmed with the tragedy of the situation but they prayed Jesus help and soon they heard what sounded like a little kitten begin to cough and that little cough was me my heart began to beat and I was alive and I'm alive only because of the grace and the saving mercy and the wonderful healing touch of Jesus Christ that's why I'm alive today because Jesus helped me and I can tell you a hundred percent that Jesus will help you if you just come to him pray and ask him to help you in your time of need. Come boldly to the throne of grace and receive mercy and help in your time of need. God wants to help you in every situation in your life. Just go to Him and ask Him for help. Look unto the hills from whence comes your help, for your help cometh from the Lord. God bless you. Be encouraged. And remember, our help comes from the Lord.